is backtracking on saying that Lamar Jackson would be better suited as a wide receiver instead of a quarterback two years ago ahead of the draft. Paulian said he was using a, quote, traditional quarterback standard when assessing Lamar. The Hall of Famer also said that the Ravens have found a way to use Lamar's dynamic skills and that the bottom line is the fact that he was wrong about the Ravens QB. Appreciate that honesty. Shannon, yep. what is your reaction to this? I'm glad he admitted it. Um, and the analysis that he used, Skip, was white guy, six foot four, half, six foot five, 230 to 240 pounds, then just drop back and throw it because the team that he's built, Buffalo, Jim Kelly, Indianapolis. Wait, did he say that? Or you no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying that's his analysis. That's what. Oh, he, that's his. Analysis. That's okay, yeah. That's, that's his mindset. Right, right, okay, right, right. right that, okay. No, no, no. That's not what all he right. said. No, I'm okay. saying that's that's the that's the uh, 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 the framework in which he's using for a quarterback. Okay. So anything that's outside of that, yep. he can't. It's like this, Skip. He can't see outside because the blinder says the quarterback needs to be six foot four and a half. Mm -hmm. You know, 230, 240 pounds. Drop back passer. Mm -hmm. Well, Lamar Jackson. He said, and Baltimore has done a great job using the skill set. Skip, mm. every quarterback that plays in the NFL that is successful mm -hmm. has a system that's really catered to what they do well. They're not running the read option with Drew Brees. Mm. They bring Taysom, Tysom Hill, uh, Taysom 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 Hill yeah. to, to run that. Skip, mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers is in an offense. Aaron Rodgers couldn't run with the offense that uh, Lamar Jackson. Why would you put him in that? That's not his skill set. So to say, well, there you, everybody does that. Mm -hmm. Peyton Manning had an offense that utilized his skill set. Sure. So that's what you that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So this notion, when you hear people say, well, you have to run a system, especially for a cap. Uh, every quarterback that's successful has a system that's catered to their skill set. That's what makes them successful. Guys are successful when you have a system, be it offense or defense, Skip, that caters to their skill set. Mm. Hell, we weren't trying to block uh, 50 plays a game. We had an offense that was catered to what I do really well. Yeah, block the backside a couple of times. You had to block uh, front side. But get down the field, Shannon. Can you get down the field? Can you be a matchup? Mm. So, look, it was so, it's disappointing because it's also lazy analysis, Skip. Mm. Skip, they make it seem like the dude rang the single wing in, in college. He won the Heisman, and he threw for over 3,000 yards both years. His junior year, Skip, was actually better than his sophomore year, which he won the Heisman. I'm looking at the numbers, and that's pretty true. Yep. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's close, yes. but, but it's, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and so, and, and when you look at it, and but Skip, not even get to say, oh, yeah, he should Ooh. transfer to wide receiver. Bill has been around this game long enough. Skip, there have been two positions, and people don't realize, and I was talking to Steven, he said he didn't know that. There have been two positions that they felt that black men could not play in the NFL. It was the quarterback and the center position. Because the center position is responsible for all the line calls. And they see, you know, then the quarterback, when well, you gotta process information, you gotta be able to think on your feet. And for the longest time, they had a hard time wrapping around, the wrap their minds around a black man can think on his feet. Hey, he can wait, process. The Miami Dolphins of the 70s had. Dwight Stevenson? Stevenson? He yeah. came in the 80s. He okay. came in the 80s. He came in, did he? Yeah, he came in the 80s. I thought he was in the 70s. No, he was, no Dwight came in the 80s. He? Actually, he came in, at, uh, he might have came in after Marino. He might have came in with Marino. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Dwight, yeah. Right. But he, he, didn't have, he had a short career. Mm. But you think about it, Skip, you go back to the 50s, 60s, mm -hmm. and even 70s, there were not no, the black centers. Mm. And then all of a sudden, they're like, hold on. We can give them that responsibility. They mm. can make line calls. They can re reroute the line. Mm -hmm. And then the quarterback, Skip, you know, they... We've seen guys lose their jobs for saying, you know, blacks couldn't process information and couldn't handle, you know, couldn't think on their feet. Yep. So I'm just I'm just disappointed that Bill would that 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 Bill Polian being around the game as long as he has knows that he's in the Hall of, Hall of Fame. He is, Skip. Um, being around the game as long as he has, Skip, knows that. Guys and, and, and ability comes in a lot of shapes and packages. Nothing is, you, you just can't say, okay, well, if it's not this, it won't work. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the, the way the NFL is set up now, Skip, is different. Guys, when Bill, when Bill was building team, Skip, everything was 21 personnel. You had two wide receivers, yep. a tight end, and two backs. Yep. Very, very few teams play 21 personnel, which is two wide receivers, a tight end, and two backs. Mm -hmm. Everybody's basically 11 personnel, Skip. Yep. Or they're playing, you know, basically a four wide receivers in one back. So I'm glad, at the end of the day, to make a long story short, yep. I'm glad he apologized. I'm glad he admitted he was wrong. Okay. Can we be clear on one point before I launch on yes. this? 
I don't think you're accusing Bill Polling of being racist, no, right? No, 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 no. You're just saying he's got this arch conservative mindset. But, yes, yes. That was developed in the 60s and 70s, Correct. whereby he sees that position as a quote unquote white position. Right. Because he did draft. He made one great move in his career. He drafted Peyton Manning yes. over Ryan Lee. Yes. So his vision of that position right. is six feet five inches, son of Archie Manning, right. and happens to be a white guy. Right. But when you have when you skill when you have success drafting a particular type mm -hmm. of if you look at the Steelers look at how they draft wide receivers they have success that success they drafted that from Antonio Brown to Emmanuel Sanders to Juju Schuster it's a, the guys are all basically about the same height mm. you, they don't get no six foot five receivers all of those guys are like five ten ish mm -hmm. James Washington mm -hmm. all of those guys are quick fast about the same height. Okay. And he had success drafting a Peyton Manning, had success building with the Buffalo Bills and Jim Kelly. So I said, well, this is the only way I can build a team. Okay. So just for the record, this is the path that Bill Polian took. He was born in the Bronx. So he's not from the deep south. No, no, okay. No, no. So he's born in the Bronx. He went to NYU, New York University. Yeah. They didn't even have football. Right. They don't have football at NYU. Right. And he played on the club football team right. there. Then he bounced around in the CFL and the USFL. And then he landed with the Buffalo Bills right. in 1984. And he didn't draft Jim Kelly, Kelly or acquire him, but he built around right. him teams that went to four straight Super right. Bowls. They did lose, but he built teams that got he there. So he's Bruce really Smith, good. The Thurman, Thomas, a whole and lot of you know, yes. great picks that he made. Yes. And then he went to the Colts, and he did draft Peyton, right. and he built around Peyton. Edger and James. Okay, and they won a Super Bowl. Yes. Okay, so now, what do I know about Bill Polian? I got to know him a little bit, worked with him at ESPN. Okay. And what was my first big clash with Bill on the air? It wasn't over a black quarterback. It was over a white quarterback named Tim <laughs> Tebow, who also shattered the mold. Right. He was not your conventional 6'5 drop back passer, Correct. right? So Bill Polian told me on the air early in that 2011 season in which Tim finally got his chance to start for your Broncos. Right. You know it well. I do. Remember what happened there? One and four, dead in the water right. with Kyle Orton, a quarterback, mm -hmm. and the new regime featuring John Elway and John Fox at mm -hmm. coach. They finally said, let's throw Tim Tebow into this dumpster fire right. and let's get it over with. Okay. And you know the rest of the story. Right. They win the division, win a playoff game. So early in that year, I had Bill pulling on our show on ESPN, and he said he went so far as to say, Tim Tebow is not even a quarterback. <laughs> He's John Riggins. Now, this is old school <laughs> yeah, reference that you know, I but do. John Riggins was a running back. Hall of for, Fame running back. Hall of Fame running back for the Washington Redskins, and he was 6'2", 235-ish, yes. somewhere in there. Yes. He, he was 100, I don't know if they call it the 100 meters or 100 yard dash mm -hmm. in Kansas yeah. in high school. 100 yard he, dash. He, it was the 100 yard yeah. dash, yeah. and he won the state championship, right. and he was a hurdler. He was a stud athlete mm -hmm. with speed. And, and I told Bill, number one, Tim doesn't even belong in the same <laughs> breath with John Riggins yeah. as a runner. You right. know, like as a runner, Tim's more of a tank. You know, right. he's like a right. fullback right. runner. Right. The little bit of shiftiness, mm -hmm. but but not. He, he doesn't have that kind of speed. Right. What, what did he run? I think he had the baseball tryout he, or the, the showcase. Yeah. Didn't he they run? They ran the 60, though. They don't run the 40. Yeah, the I don't think he ran the... Okay. 40. Yeah. But, but he ran, he just runs okay. He's right. like average speed for right. his size. And right. Tim's like 245, 250. 250? Okay. So... I said, no, 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 Bill, he's shattering the mold. You got to let him run his college right. offense, and he can win with his college right. offense because the deeper he gets into the game, the more accurate he gets because he'll just sort of will the ball to his receiver late in the game, which he continued to do game after game after game. Okay. So, again, just for the record, I was taking him on because he was saying that a white quarterback should be playing running back. You right. know, he shouldn't even be playing quarterback, right. just for the record. Right. Now, back to this. It did take a big man to stand up and Absolutely. just say, hey, I've swung and missed on this one. Yes, because if you look, like, to your point, and again, <laughs> I'll be the first to admit, I didn't love Lamar's chances coming out, neither did you, right. but I liked it, and I liked where they got him because I thought there won't be great amount. You know, they didn't take him second overall, right. so the pressure will be less on right. him, right? Right, somewhere between 15, Skip, if he'd have gone to 50, I mean, but to say the man should chip switch, Skip, saying, okay, I wouldn't take him in the top 10, yep. or I wouldn't take him in top 15, yep. but if you want to say somewhere between 20, 25, 20, 30, yep. okay, but to say the man should switch position? <laughs> So when you look at the, the Heisman year, yeah. he threw for 3,500 yards, which is extraordinary. It was 30 touchdowns to nine interceptions, but he ran for 21 touchdowns. 
that that's like <laughs> big time running back Thank numbers yes. on top of yeah. really very good throwing numbers. Yes. So you could just see the yards pile up, and to your point, the next year was slightly better yeah. across the board. And we remember yeah. the skip the game against Clemson. Mm -hmm. He and Deshaun Watson. They hooked up. Yeah, they went back and that forth. That might have been and the second just, best game between Deshaun it, it Watson was. and Alabama. And, it, and again. Lamar did come up small at the end of that game. He had four chances to try to score right. down close, remember? But whatever. Again, Deshaun is really special as yes. a closer of football games. But the point is, Lamar doesn't look that, that pretty when he throws it. Right. It just gets where it's supposed to right. go. He is really accurate. Yes. And plus, he can really process fast, and he makes the right choices because his college coach was Bobby, Bobby Petrino, Petrino, who coached big-time football in the yeah. NFL, he, right? He was Mike Vick. Okay. Mike Vick rushed 4,000 yards yeah. and had a great season okay. up on it. And I think can, one year. I think yeah. he played one and, year. And Bobby Petrino. Petrino, can he coach passing game offense? Yeah. You better believe mm. he can. Did he coach Mike Vick? Did he have Mike I, Vick I'm for the season? Sure. Oh, it didn't last very long. Yeah. Uh, you know what? He like might have didn't. Sure. I think he might have came the year Vick got in that trouble. But, but whatever. But, but remember, but he, he didn't he, last he's long. Really his, good. He's really good with quarterbacks. With quarterbacks. Okay. So he got the, the right kind of teaching early. Right. And Ozzie Newsom left what a parting gift he left <laughs> he, his he franchise right but, but what did john harbaugh say instead of trying to find peyton manning let's find a guy and we build the offense around him skip don't you think everybody want to peyton manning sure i would like to have a guy that throws for over seventy thousand yards mm -hmm. and 500 plus touchdowns and go to four super bowls and win five mvp yeah that's what i'm looking for okay and did Good i have luck a, finding it did i have a big problem with denver replacing tim tebow with peyton manning nope <laughs> no? No, come on. No. Seriously? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then what right. happened? Yeah. History happened. Exactly. Right? I'm sure everybody everybody wants that. I'm sure uh, Coach Belichick wants another Tom Brady. But those some guys skip only those are comes along once in a lifetime. Yep. What's the likelihood that the Coach Belichick is gonna find another guy exactly like Tom Brady? Mm. Or the Colts are gonna find and they thought they had one in Andrew Luck. Yeah. But come on. Mm. But he was just he was just lazy in his analysis, and it takes a big man. It took a big I, man. I don't even know if he's lazy. He just that's his mindset. That's, Appreciate him saying yeah. it. Yeah. Honestly, though, that's, uh, that's I mean, you just gotta, couldn't that. see it. Yeah, yeah. you got to go. Did he go watch the guy work know. out? I don't know. Yeah. Well, Lamar proving all of those doubters wrong right now, and it has been yep. fun to watch. Uh, load management, guys, has become a problem, and it, mm. it's everything that everyone wants to talk about. Is it Kawhi? Is it more than just Kawhi? We'll discuss everything. What are the new balances? Yeah. yeah. They're gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah.